Hello, happy Friday. I've asked the girls to be in this video because it's their first day of summer. Last day of school was yesterday. So that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. Michael's sleeping in his crib right now, so. Um, just how summer is here. And for a lot of us, that means that it is uh, new routines. It can be daunting for a lot of parents that are home with their kids all summer, especially when <laughs> kids that are in school all year come home and then it's a big adjustment, big, big uh, schedule change. And with summer comes busyness and a lot of fun. And sometimes we lose sight of Jesus in our routines and our schedules. And um, he kind of gets uh, brushed aside with all the fun that's going on. So we had a conversation last night and <laughs> I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to um chat with these girls and how we're gonna incorporate Jesus in our summers our summer this this uh summer now that we're out of school and um kind of ha have a game plan on how this is gonna go because we had our our school schedule we prayed on the way to school every day and we had family prayer time in the evenings but now that's busy with <laughs> softballs and the softball and things like that so Reevaluating how things are gonna go and making sure that he still stays at our center as a family, right? Right, girls? Yes. They requested not to talk, so I'm doing the talking. <laughs> so, a couple of things that we're gonna do, and the reason I'm saying this is so that you can um, kind of think and plan on how you and your family are going to incorporate him this summer. I know that um, a lot of your schedules might not change a lot, for us, it changes a ton. I've got four kids home now, and um, I know a lot of a lot of people are in that same scenario. So, a few things that we're gonna do. Um, in the past, the girls would wake up and watch a cartoon for a little while while I either read and did my Bible study or did got some things done or what whatnot. We're not gonna do that anymore. We're gonna do now. We got a couple of readers here, so they're gonna read their Bible together, their kids' adventure Bible. I think it is. Yep. Yeah. In the morning together and um, read and show the pictures to their little sister, maybe their little brother. And um, not only that, but this will incorporate the reading that we want them to do every day. So two things in one, uh, one motion. Um, we're gonna continue doing family prayer time. Sometimes that gets pushed aside because our, our evenings are so busy. So maybe doing that right when daddy gets home from work or a little bit in the morning, uh, changing up that time. Our family prayer time looks like one thing we're thankful for, one thing we want to ask Jesus to help us with or pray for somebody. Um, we recite a prayer together and then we do, we do, um, what do we do next? What's our last thing? Silence, a moment of silence, pray within our hearts, yeah. whatever we don't want to pray out loud. Um, and then turning to WWJD in times of struggle, as in not listening or fighting with siblings or <laughs> what would Jesus do in this hard scenario, right? Is that going to be something we're going to say and think about all summer, right, girls? Yes. <laughs> Including mom. Would mom yell? No. no. Or Jesus yell? No. no. <laughs> and WWJD in what? And WWJD means what would Jesus do? Yes, it does. Yep. Um, and then we are going to make sure that we're always showing how thankful we are, expressing gratitude at all times. So in any fun moment, saying thank you, Jesus, for allowing us this favor, or thank you, Jesus, for letting us have this great weather. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us have this fun pool time. Always having him in every moment and being thankful. And in those times of struggle, turning to him. Um, continue in church on Sundays, right? Yeah. Continue to do that. And then um, me as a parent, it's a big adjustment. <laughs> and incorporating my Bible study time might change. It might be much more interrupted. And just being sure to invite um, my kids in with me in those, those times with Jesus. So... <laughs> Um, I'm going to pray for all of us this summer. Uh, Jesus, girls, you want to pray? Hold yes. your hands. All right. 
Jesus, we want to pray for um, you to be with us this summer. If this is a huge adjustment for families, um, whether it be new child care, kids home all summer, um, just busy with travel, we pray that you will be at the center of our schedules and in the center of our hearts and lives. We thank you for all, um, all the fun that summer may bring. And we just want to especially pray for the ones that have a, a large uh, schedule shift, especially those mamas and, and daddies with the, the kids home all summer. <laughs> we, uh, in Jesus' name, amen? Amen. 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 <laughs> All right, do you girls have anything to say? No. no. Okay. You, you have something to say? What do you want to say, baby? Um, when you come in the camera a little bit, can you see your face in there? There, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Say thank you, Jesus. Come in the camera a little bit more. Peter can't wait. Peter can't wait. She said, "Thank you, Jesus." All right, have a great weekend and a good summer, you guys. Bye. 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 Okay, say it. What do you want to say? Say love you. Love, love you me. all. Love you. Get that out of there. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys. Bye.